Got it. Oh, he chased it all the way down. That was so awesome. Misses the first time, came for it the second time, and smash the roof. Back to back cast, and that's the big male. Wow. Look at those colors. to make sure that these presentations are always like getting in front of fish. Anything under about a five and a half foot leader is what you want to have if you're fishing that single setup. 365. There he is. Everybody and welcome back to another Patagonia edition of Addicted Fishing. Today is a day that I might be most excited about. We're hiking down this incredible freaking canyon. There's amazing wilderness. We've been spending quite a bit of time here over the last couple weeks showing you guys these adventures that were going on here in Patagonia. And I want to see your feedback. I want to see your thumbs up and I want to see your comments below on what you've been thinking of these adventures. Today is going to be an epic one. We have some amazing lakes with some massive trout and a spring creek that connects two other lakes, which is a totally different style of fishing that we've not done yet. So it's gonna be an amazing adventure today. Stick around. Thank you all so much for following along. Let's go do it. Puff balls! They're puff balls! Oh my God. Franco, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, one more time. Franco told me, he said, there's mushrooms down here that you put in salads. And I'm like, no way. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, what are they? He said, I don't know. They're puff balls. Giant puff balls, you guys. Oh, these ones are bad though. It's okay. The lower we go in elevation, they'll get better and better. These are giant puff balls. One of the tastiest mushrooms in the freaking world. That is so cool. All right, let's go fishing. Puff balls. Oh no, no, no. I don't know. I've never picked these, but I've seen them. Last time I was in Chile, I saw these brand new, very interesting mushroom that grows on the trees. It's like a truffle of sorts. I'm pretty sure it is a truffle. Comment below what you guys think that thing is. The shroomy start to the day here. Now it's about to get fishy. All right, so if you guys can't already tell what we're doing here, we're literally working this tiny little lagoon on the side of the lake with popper fly, something that's up on the surface and floating. And I'm literally using the wind to my advantage, letting my, letting my fly blow up in the air and then lowering it down into where these fish might be. So Frank goes down there spotting for me. I'm trying to keep myself off the weeds. This is gonna be cool. All the suspense is killing me, everyone. 
The suspense is absolutely killing me. I can already tell this blow up is gonna be insane. It's gonna scare the crap out of me. Found a big one, guys. Really nice one. I'm gonna sneak down and bow cast to it. I'm gonna get my line ready here in the trees. Okay, the cast I'm gonna do here, everybody. Bow and arrow cast. So I don't have to swing my rod around. Right there? On the front. In this pocket? I'm really, really, again, just tense, everybody. Every single spot we go to, every cast we make, we have a chance of catching a really, really cool fish in a really cool way like we're doing right now. Pretty much sight casting to these things. This wind is the only thing stopping us from not being able to really see them. Come, come now, okay. Okay guys, Frank goes up on the wall below us, spotting fish, he just waved me over, he said there's a big one, so let's go find out. Okay, so just maybe go to here. Uh-huh, but I guess he's here. This by far, everybody, is some of the hardest fishing I've ever done. Battling the wind, the, the elements in the, in the lake, all these reeds and all this grass, and then a very, very spooky yet huge fish is uh, a bit frustrating, yet all, I can honestly say if we do make this happen, it's gonna be extremely rewarding. This is really cool. Basically, just we're hunting these fish. There's no reason to cast anywhere you can't see them because they're really close to the bank, they're really big, they're easy to see, and they're gonna hit top water. So. Just trying to stay calm, stay on my game, not get lazy, and try to put one of these things in my hand. Dang it. So the stakes have changed, everybody. We're creeping down into a new section of river, into the Spring Creek section of the lake. It's right behind me, but on the way there, we stumbled upon this. I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty flipping positive that this is a, is a fossil of some sort. Definitely hollow. Moments later. Mm. Getting closer. What do you think's in there? Crystals? It looks like it. Whatever it is, it's cool. I can't take it any longer. There's fish feeding all, there's another one just ate right there. We're gonna come back to this. So you guys are gonna have to wait till the end of the episode to see what this thing is. But I promise you, I'm gonna dig it out of the ground when we get back. Let's go catch fish. That was a big eat there. 
We're literally sitting here scouting out the fish we're going to catch. An old friend of mine, Phil Black, who's ultimately the man who's the reason we're all here, told me many times while fly fishing, especially dry fly fishing, you want to spot and see two fish. Have two fish picked out before you ever make your first cast. So that's what we're doing right now. We're scouting the hole. I see one here. Another one just fed right here. There's a couple more down in the tail out of this run. And I'm seeing them rise and eat all the way through this, this little straight stretch of, of river. So this is going to be cool. Okay, glasses change. Got a lighter colored amber lens. We put them on and it's literally like a whole other world. So you guys look down the water. You guys can see the difference there with the polarized lens. You can see how the bottom of the river, there's fish moving around in the middle of the hole. See if you can spot them. And then I take it away. Nothing. Something? Nothing. I'm gonna use this bush as protection here. See if I can spot these guys again. Yep, I see them. I see them both. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but literally as I went to cast, the fish exploded on that fly. Well, I had enough chances. It's Franco's turn now. Oh my God, that was wicked. They're eating like crazy in here, you guys. Oh God, that was sick. Oh, wow. Oh, he took that thing almost off the surface. Just playing clean up behind Franco, letting him fish down with the dry and just right as he moves down river, I cast in there right behind him. And here we have our first fish of the day, finally. Just a snaky one. Look at this fish. Man, she came off the bottom so fast, it almost scared me. Took the rooster tail, just a beautiful face again. Here she is, everybody. The first brown of the day. Looks like she might even be spawning. Let's get her back in there quickly. Later, honey. So cool. Finally, that was a lot of hard work. We've been hiking our butts off, moving all over this river. We finally got one. Heck yeah. Oh, got her boyfriend. Holy moly. Wow, that was a vicious strike. He'll take it again. Nope, must have felt the hook. This might be one of the coolest places I've ever trout fished anybody. Just in this incredible spring creek. This stuff is just coming right up out of the ground and feeding. Unique setting to be catching fish. You can see all these big spawning beds in here from these trout. Like you can tell they come out of the lake into these little creeks to feed. One, there's a lot of bugs in here. And two, to get their spawning done, there's a lot of unused reds. So they must spawn later on in the fall or something, but this is just a really, really cool situation. Oh my God, there's a giant one. Okay, this cast will do it. Got him spotted. Oh God, he missed it again. Missed it again. Okay, cast number three is the third time's a charm. Come on, spinner blade. Nope. That looked like a different fish that time. Oh, come back for it. You dirty little dog, you. Just not getting quite enough time to look at it. Man, that was cool though. Such a technical day of fishing, everybody. It's been so hard to get these fish to bite, and it's in incredibly difficult areas and situations, which makes it so much fun. Very, very technical fishing. I'm glad I have this short rod. Oh, big fish right there just followed. Big, big fish just followed.
Okay, here we go. This is the cast. There's an even bigger one over there. Just change angles on these fish. Sometimes you guys, if you get a good follow like that, the fish didn't have enough time to look at it. Right now I'm just trying to drag it across this deep little slot. I'm gonna move down, I'm gonna cast up into the slot and see if I can get him to bite. There's the cast. Nope. Snubbed. Snubbed by the brown trout. Okay, everybody. Hands down, the most challenging day of the trip so far. Very humbling, but I almost love it. It's gonna put us back at ground zero. or kind of leveled us out. We were on some really strong hype, but the last videos that we filmed have been awesome fishing. This has been incredible itself, but what a technical and fun fishery. Comment below if you've ever fished a creek like this or what you guys think of this kind of fishing expedition. I think we head back to the lake and look for a monster. I don't know if there's as big a fish in this spring creek, but I'm really glad we did this. This was incredible. Got the two first fish of the day. It's time to go find a monster. Oh, got it. Oh, he chased it all the way down. That was so awesome. Missed it the first time, came for it the second time, and smash a -roo. I just missed the fish on the last time we were in this little spot here. So finally, finally. Wow, this is a cool looking fish. Stay on there, buddy. Wow. What a beautiful brown. Come on, little guy. Okay, look at this. Very unique looking trout here. We've been catching these things in the last few videos and each one of them on each stream that we fished has had a unique look to it. This fish in this creek is just one reason to show you why it's good to be versatile. I'm using spinning gear. I've been switching back and forth in between spinning gear and um, and fly fishing this entire time. And both of them have been working. Some are challenging, some are, some are easier. But so far, throwing these casts into these weeds under these trees and everything has been very difficult, very technical. So I'm happy to switch to a spinning rod on this. But I hope we can get one on the dry on the lake. But we're gonna work our way back up this, see if we can't catch a few more of these fish. This is awesome. Really nice roll right here ahead of us, you guys. Let's see if I can't get it up in there. Yep, that's perfect. Oh. I think I was just hitting the weeds. Oh, wow. Where's he going? Where's he going? Why is he doing that? That was a huge fish. Just darted all the way back down. Got him. Oh God, yes. Oh, that was too good. Oh, that thing just destroyed it, you guys. Almost a top water hit. Oh, best one of the day. Best one of the day so far. What a beauty. Oh man, just an absolute gorgeous fish. About 16, 18 inches. Perfect, perfect specimen. Thank you, sweetie. Thanks for hitting on the top. Ha <laughs> ha, that was cool. Okay. We're on a roll, everybody. We are on a roll. And I think the difference here, we didn't do very well as we worked our way down river because I think what was happening is these fish were spotting us. These things have incredible eyesight. Obviously, it's, one, it's how they evade predators. Two, it's how they feed. These fish can see their prey 10 to 15 feet away as they come down the river. So when we're coming down, working our way from top to bottom on the river, these fish can see us coming. So I think by working our way back up the way we are right now is why we're having better success. I'm digging it. back. Hello everybody. My tools are exhausted. I almost got this thing out, but we don't have the correct tools and I'm breaking every piece of cutting equipment that I have. 
I'm as disappointed as you are, but we need to go find a giant before it gets too dark. Sun's setting quick. We better get back to fishing. There he is, everybody. 